What's up everybody? I'm Adam with K6ARK Portable Radio and we're back in the shop today with another fun project. This is the entire station that I'm going to try activating with today. Uh, Altoids 10 rock mite set up. Any other stations out there? K6ARK. So this is a pretty typical operating position for me when I'm out portable. I've got the radio on my left hand and my phone on my right leg with a logging application open. Uh, so I can keep track of all my contacts and report, record relevant details. But the phone's just sitting here on my leg and I run the risk of dropping it sometimes into uh, you know, some, some pretty sharp rocks that uh, will do a number on the screen if it falls face down. So I came up with a solution. What I ended up with is an elastic Velcro strap with a magnetic phone mount attached to it. So I take that, strap it onto my leg, give it a little bit of tension, and the phone can't go anywhere. Along with the strap attached to my leg, there's a metal plate in the case on the phone here. Some people also attach them directly to the back of the phone, which works just as well if you don't use a case. These magnetic holders are fantastic for vehicle use, and I've found that application carries right over to use in the field. So now I can operate away, and when I need to log a contact, just tap away on my phone, there's no risk of dropping anything. Let's go build one. So let's take a look at what we need to get started. So this project is really simple. It just requires some basic tools, a Phillips head screwdriver, and perhaps some scissors, and then some basic parts from Amazon. I've got links in the comments below, so go check them out. It'll bring you right to these products that'll work for you to make this. The box on the upper left is the rubber coated magnetic mount for the phone along with those steel plates. And on the right is just a basic 27 inch long by one inch wide elastic Velcro strap. So you'll notice these magnetic mounts have adhesive backs on them already. We gotta get that off. We're not gonna use that adhesive. It's gonna get in the way of our project here. So let's carefully Work that off of there. All right, there we go. In doing that, we exposed this Phillips head screw in the back of this mount. Let's open that up. So with that screw out, we're able to separate this plastic base from the magnets and the rubber covered top here. And we need to do a little bit of a modification here before we attach that to the strap. So now that I've got the two halves of the magnetic mount separated, I'm gonna do a little measuring here. I'm gonna lay this one inch strap over the top I'm just going to take a sharpie, make a couple of marks here, because I'm going to trim this rubber to give a little bit nicer finished product. Now this step isn't totally mandatory, but it does really help, I think, uh, to get that rubber cover to sit as flat as possible when this is finished. Now I'm going to trim some of this rubber. carefully right along the edge just to make some room for that strap. So I want this notch, this gap that I create to be just as wide as that strap. Not quite there yet. Okay. 
There we go. That'll work for that one. bit more here. Go with that. So the last step here is to make sure our Velcro is on the outside. We're going to lay the strap right across the base there. Place this in the middle. We're going to Press that screw through the strap. It's going to take a good amount of pressure. Get it through and thread it on the other side. But it does it. It makes it. Snug that screw all the way down. We've got our finished strap. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this project. I hope it serves you well on your next portable radio adventure. The links in the description below have everything you need for this project. So check it out, get some parts of your own, and have fun with your build. Till next time, this is Adam with K6ARK Portable Radio, San 73.